Good afternoon, this is That One Guy. I'm uh, making another rocket design school. Today we're going to be talking about orbital construction of your very own spaceships. And I'm not talking about things that come off the launch pad, I'm talking about things that stay in space and never ever come down. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have a basic idea of what you're doing. And I have mine, and uh, what you're going to do is design your rocket. Now there's a little math involved here. When you when you design your rocket <laughs> that looks like can. Anyways, when you design your rocket, you're going to want to be sure that it's balanced in optimal flight conditions. So for this, I'm going to be making what I'm calling the Gecko class space carrier. Um it's going to have two of these cans on opposite sides of a node, so those masses cancel, along with the ASAS and RCS propellant. Now what I have to do is I have to be sure that my masses are balanced, otherwise the ship won't fly right. This is 2.5 uh, mass, and that's really the only other non-canceling mass that I'm going to have. Uh, so let me just take a look at this. That's negligible so we're not going to factor it in. That is going to be on both sides and it is slightly negligible. So now what we're going to look at is we're going to start looking at dry mass. That's... I really don't... Uh, I don't like how the... Uh, I don't like how that kind of works out. Okay, so the dry mass of that is 0.5, so I'm going to need something a little bit more massive. We're probably going to go with this one because the dry mass is 1, and I need to make up uh, the difference between the dry mass of that and the mass of this, because there is no dry mass for that. So the next thing that's going to be here is 8 of these, so that's 0.8, which means I'm up to 1.8, 2.5 minus 1.8, is I need to make up roughly 0.7. I can be off by a little bit and still have it fly right. So we're going to take a look at these. The dry mass of these is 0.25, and I'm going to have four of them. So that means one, and that leaves a differential of 0.3, I believe. Alright, so that's good enough to go. Now what you're going to do is, once you have your design and you've done all the math to make sure that it works out, you're going to build it in the uh, Space Center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a mock-up of what my rocket will, or what my cruiser will look like. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Haha, <laughs> not that. What we're going to do is we're going to put all of this up here and start building this up. Now there's several things you can do, you can play around with this, but what's going to happen is you're going to end up building something that could not possibly exist uh, as a single stage to orbit rocket. Or, uh, or just, you know, you're launching it from the ground. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have a central hub, which this is my central hub. And uh, from here, this is going to be the command pod of the entire craft. I'm going to go ahead and put batteries and solar panels on this one so that it will A, have direction, and B, uh, let's see, I royally missed the keys there. 
Ah, okay. And there. There's one. And... As long as it's on the opposite side. Come on. There we go. There's two. That's slightly off. Now you're going to want to set up action groups, but you're not going to want to set them all up at the same time. So there is my first piece of my ship. Next, you're going to want to set up your... Uh, I'm going to name this the... Gecko class carrier and save it. That way, when I come back to uh, modularize it, it will be uh, in one piece, and all I really have to do is just follow this template. So we're going to go ahead and add some clamps and begin construction of our next. Okay, I can't... Ugh, my goodness. I'm running on about four hours of sleep right now, so if I seem a little spacey, I'm sorry. So, the next thing that we're going to need to do is attach these to these to simulate what happens when everything is docked up properly. Now, here's what I was talking about with canceling masses. This cancels this. Let's see, uh, this ASAS cancels this ASAS, this pod cancels that pod, this RCS cancels that RCS, and let me see see here what else cancels. Nothing, that's it. That's all that cancels, and all I'm trying to do is make up the differential weight of that uh, without any negligible parts. I mean, this is going it's going to be a little bit bottom heavy, but uh, the rest of the ship should be so massive that it won't matter that much. So now we're going to set the symmetry to four times. Do that. Do Come on now. Do that. And as you see, this is only a 0.05 mass, and it's only going to add up to a very small percentage. This is going to feed into those. And let's see, what else do I have to do? I'm going to have to make a ladder. And there we go, that's my lander. Minus all the struts that I'm going to need to keep it balanced, but we do that. We do that, and we grab the last ladder from back here, and I'm going to hold shift, and do that. I'm also going to make one more ladder down to there, because I don't want to end up with a weird ladder config. Now... The reason I did that is because... Aha! That's why I'm having weird things. I'm not on Snap to Angle. Snap to Angle makes construction much, much easier. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're just going to build the bare basic model of this thing. I'm not even putting uh, my RCS thruster blocks on. I'm just trying to get what this thing will look like when it's done. Now. Along the, uh, the only reason that I had to balance that, and I won't have to balance this, is because, whoa, that was no bueno, is because this is how the ship is going to travel through space. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a Rockomax fuel tank on that, one of these, because I like the looks of that and a Nerva when I can find it. Now that might seem like a weird choice, just putting one Nerva on this thing, but I would rather have a Nerva than not, because that is how I'm going to keep my fuel efficiency up. Now, I'm going to build the front tank. And I'm 
going to want this, this, and one thing that you're going to notice is I'm going to put another control surface on here. The reason for that is if I were to fly the ship uh, the way it's intended right now, I'm using these thrusters as my forward vector. If I put another control point on the direction that I'm supposed to be going, I will be able to uh, keep my ship relatively stable. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into command pods, grab a probodyne, blah blah blah, put it right there, and then, so that I can refuel it, I'm going to throw a Clampatron Jr. right there. The world. There we go. And that is how you build your basic star cruiser. Now, you're going to need to break it up into four parts. This lander part, which it has to fly around with, with empty fuel tanks, so you're going to drain all the fuel into here. Uh, because if you flew it without this, it would be incredibly unbalanced. Now, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to save your Gecko class carrier, then what you're going to have to do is, this part is self-explanatory, you can literally just clamp a drone or whatever you want onto here. But I'm going to show you how to get the rest of the pieces up. So we're going to go ahead and create a new ship, because uh, I know what I want there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to rebuild that lander a quick second. Uh, what was its command? Uh, I lied. We're not going to rebuild that. We're going to cheat a quick second, and I'm going to go to any of my station parts or my other... Alright, here we go. This is part of my stock station pack. I'm thinking about putting it on the forums if the website comes back on. But this is a basic lifter craft, and this is my basic probe right here. Well, not really probe, it's a probe, it's a drone. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and rebuild the entire lander craft here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a Clampatron Jr. down there, put this there, and then begin rebuilding my craft as a an extension of this. Pods. And all you really have to do is just add your symmetry items, and you'll be good to go. Now from here, all it's about is just docking with your hub and building your ship in orbit. Now that sounds like an arduous and not worthwhile task, however, what you will end up with are ships that are honest-to-god spaceships, things that can't come back down to Kerbin. And, uh, let's see, I need this. Now, I might need a little bit more oomph to get this into orbit, but, uh, that's fine. Anywho, from there, you can, uh, just build the rest of your lander. I'm having issues with it right now, but this video has dragged on long enough. And you, uh, can either do a manned mission, this is the drone that I use to build things, and you just put it up into the uh, orbit that you want, and then you build it. Now, the one thing that I will warn you about is if you start building these in point one eight, you're probably going to have to rebuild them in point one eight point one because they're fixing a graphical bug that will uh, cause your uh, docking nodes to look absolutely terrible. So, this has been that one guy. Thanks for watching.